Hello and welcome to another episode of Bavarian Redline. Today is an extremely exciting episode for us because we are finally going to be getting our E46 M3 to where it doesn't look quite so bad. So if you've been watching the channel for a while, you saw we picked up the cheapest E46 M3 in the USA and it came not looking so good. So in last video, uh, we put the E90 M3 wheels on, which we're going to get refinished, uh, but we are still stuck with this horrible hood. So the previous owner had taken the hood off because the fan clutch blew up and did some damage to the aluminum hood, which was hard to fix. And they found this one and put it on the car. It had a black wrap on it, which was terrible. So we removed that, found all the bodywork. Uh, long story short, this hood just needs to go. It's absolutely not cutting it. So we were able to find a pre-owned uh, Saibon carbon fiber hood for the E46 M3. And this thing is beautiful. So it's got a little bit of hazing in the clear coat, but I have a feeling with just a buff, we can get that out. Now these hoods new are about 1500 bucks. Uh, we paid less than a third of that for this hood. And it has these nice uh, newer style blacked out kidney grills. So it should look amazing on there. So what we're gonna do today is get this hood, put onto the car with the black wheels. I think it's gonna look great. And we're finally gonna have an E46 M3 that isn't such an eyesore to look at. So first thing we're gonna do is get this guy off. And then this hood does not have any windshield washer sprayers on. So we're gonna have to figure out how to get the tubing transferred from uh, this hood to the new hood. And that way the windshield washers will work. So first thing we're gonna do is get the hood off. So thank you so much for watching. If you aren't already, please subscribe to the channel so you can follow this project to its finish because I have a feeling it's gonna get done here pretty soon. And you ready, Aaliyah? Yes. Okay, perfect. So what we have to do is figure out how to get this fished out of here through the old hood, which actually is looking a little bit more complicated now that I'm looking at it. We gotta get this harness pulled out and hopefully slid through the same hole that's on the other hood. So it looks like we have to kind of fish this all the way down here, which it's put on with some zip ties. So we'll cut these zip ties off first and then we'll get this whole wiring harness kind of pulled out. And I think we might do that before we do much else here, because I want to make sure we can get that all taken off. So that's what we'll get started on first. All right, so the first order of business was getting these lines connected or disconnected from the sprayers here on the hood. So that was actually fairly easy. They just pulled right apart there. So now we've got to kind of fish this back through after we cut these zip ties out. I think this whole assembly pulling out of here is gonna be a heck of a lot simpler than going back in. Okay, now let's see how easily this thing fishes out of here, if easily at all. Jeez, there's really nothing to that. We'll see if it goes back in as easy as it uh, as it came off. Now we just gotta get these bolts out, which there's only four of them. So we'll take those four guys out and then we should be able to lift this old hood off, put the new one on and kind of fish the wires back in there. It should be a pretty straightforward job. All right, so first things first, I gotta take these struts off on either side, kind of push in here behind them. Makes it pretty easy to get them off. All right, 
easy enough. Let's set this out here for now. I'm gonna shut this very carefully right now. Definitely good rule of thumb, do not try to latch it until you have it perfectly lined up because it might get latched in such a way where you cannot get it off. Okay, so it looks like, God dang, it actually looks pretty good on that side. The hood definitely needs to go to the left a little bit. So a good way to do this is just loosen all these a little bit. After some time moving the hood back and forth until the gap looked good on both sides, we were ready to move on to the windshield washers. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just taking this clothes hanger and I'm going to use this once I get it unwound here to pull fish this line through here. I mean, if you had something to actually more professional to fish with, you could use that. But for now, I'm just gonna use this hanger and see if we can get it pulled through. Now I'm just kind of getting everything plugged back in and then we'll zip tie it all back up kind of where it was before, neat-like. This is pretty simple, that just slides over top of there. Actually, I wanna put that cord underneath it like it was before. Put this cord through there on the bottom and then put the top piece in. And then that clip there will slide, theoretically, over it, which I can't get from here. thicker on the carbon fiber. It's thicker on the carbon fiber. Oh, yep, and it broke. That's okay. The carbon fiber is about twice as thick as the metal, so it broke it, but honestly not the end of the world. All right, so that went fairly smoothly, and if you can see kind of the progress here, this car is finally starting to look a little bit better. Now, with the hood on there looking better, again, the top is kind of hazed and it needs a little bit of a buff, so we'll do that, clean the headlights at the same time. You could just see how rock chipped and just neglected that this paint is on this car. I had an opportunity to buy fenders and doors, but it's kind of like, where do you stop? So I think we're gonna get that on there and then we're probably gonna try to get these guys put on which are like little splitters for either sides of the bumper to get some more carbon and then we got carbon mirror caps but uh i mean the exterior's getting close to as far as we're probably going to take it we're not going to do a wrap or anything like that i don't think just because of the overall condition of the car and the miles but let us know what you think in the comments about how much better it actually looks um, with the carbon fiber hood. Now we're gonna take it through the car wash, go get some zip ties to kind of zip tie up those uh, washer lines. And uh, if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel and catch the next couple of videos that are gonna be coming out on this car. Say bye, Leah. <laughs> <laughs>